I'm currently in my wife's hometown of Guilin in China right now because we're having our wedding ceremony this month. Now this isn't my first time back in China and every time that I've come back in the past, I've always felt like I packed way too much gear. I used to bring a 24 to 70, a 70 to 200, a 16 to 35, two camera bodies, a drone, and even throw in a gimbal in case I really needed it. And it was just way too much stuff, way too much gear that I didn't even use. And so this time I tried my hardest to only pack the essentials of what I think I would need. So let's see if I overpacked, packed just right or underpacked. First up, my camera body is the Canon C70, which I am using to film myself right now. The C70 is a cinema camera that doesn't take any pictures. And while I do have an EOS R that does photo and video, I decided against bringing that because I, for one, am not much of a photographer. Like I would just rather take out my phone and capture it on my Google Pixel 7 Pro. I'm much more of a video focused creator anyways. So having the C70 with its more video centered features like C-Log2, better dynamic range, and more 4K shooting options made more sense for me. For the rig, it's super minimalistic with the small rig C70 handheld cage and the top handle that comes with it. I know I'm not going to be shooting any huge projects here in China, so I don't need the camera to be completely rigged out. And in fact, having a smaller camera and smaller profile really helps draw less attention to it when I'm out and documenting. There are probably even times where I would just take off the top handle completely so that it looks more like a DSLR. Now, the two lenses that I brought back are the Sigma 18-35 f1.8 and the Sigma 24-70 f2.8. The 18-35 wide zoom lens is my new favorite YouTube lens. It's specific designed for APS-C sensors, which my Canon C70 is, and the f1.8 aperture is great for getting that shallow depth of field. The focal lengths are perfect for getting super wide angle shots at the 18 millimeter end, and also getting tighter B-roll shots with the 35 millimeter end of the lens, which is how I've been using it for my YouTube videos. The 24 to 70 is also an incredible lens. I mainly use this lens for shooting any footage outside of YouTube videos for documenting my trip. As you guys probably already know, the 24 to 70 is one of the most versatile lenses when it comes to shooting run and gun style of projects. Whether that's documentaries, weddings, events, or travel videos, I will pretty much always have this lens either on the camera or in my bag. The added bonus of the Sigma version of this lens is that it has optical stabilization. Since I'm not using a gimbal or a tripod, the optical stabilization really helps steady my shots when I'm shooting handheld. And pairing that with the Canon focal reducer really helps me get closer to that full frame field of view that this lens was intended to capture. Now I also brought two lights with me, uh, which is where the overpacking might start to happen. Uh, but the first light is the Cobor CL220. This is going to be the main YouTube key light that I'm going to be using. And also the Cobor CL60R, which is an RGB light that I might use as a backlight or maybe even a fill light. And for the accessories, I only brought their cone reflectors and also a barn door attachment. The reason why I decided to bring the CL220 is because of its bi-color abilities so that I can match it better with the environment and adjust the color temperature so that it looks more natural. And because the 60R is an RGB light, I can use it as some sort of like colorful accent if I really wanted to, or if I wanted a different color for the backlight, I can also adjust that through the app. And by bringing both of these lights, I have a ton more options when it comes to lighting as to bringing two daylight balanced lights, which limits my options just a little bit more. And because everything was so compact and small, I was able to pack everything, including their cables, inside of my carry-on suitcase. And in China, I only had to buy a softbox and a light stand so that I don't have to bring those over from the US, which would have been a pain in her butt to bring. The computer that I brought with me is the 14 inch MacBook Pro with the M1 chip. This laptop is an absolute workhorse. I really love this machine for traveling because of the M1 chip and it being able to handle any of the C70 footage that I throw at it. When I'm editing in Premiere, I never have any lagging or freezing issues with the Canon C70's 4K footage. The 14 inch form factor is perfect for me, especially when I'm comparing it to my wife's 15 inch MacBook Pro. I really don't mind the smaller screen size because it makes the whole laptop much lighter and easier easier to travel with. Now the accessories that I think are a must have when it comes to my MacBook is going to be the TP-Link Ethernet adapter to plug into the wall, the Anchor USB-C hub for expanded connectivity for hard drives, SD cards, and other things, the wired Apple headphones so that I can stay plugged in all the time, I don't have to wait for my earpods to like charge or anything like that, and the Logitech MX Master 2S. Now in addition to the Canon C70, I did bring another camera body and that is the Insys 360 One R. My original plan for this was to use it as a body cam so that I can record some on the street footage of my time in China. And because it's a 360 camera, I can capture and record multiple different angles as I'm on the go. But to be honest, I'm not sure how much I would be using the whole body strap thing and attaching it to my shoulder because 
it is a pain to kind of to like rig it up. And then after I shoot, I have to take that footage and put it into my computer and then edit everything together before I can like put it out there. Most of the time it's so much easier to just capture everything on my phone and record and edit everything on a mobile editing software such as CapCut. But since the One R is so small, I decided to just throw it into my backpack and just bring it along. All right, we're on to the last couple of things with the next items being audio. I don't believe I'll be capturing too much audio for travel video editing purposes, but since I'm gonna be having my wedding on this trip, I figured that I might want to bring some sort of backup audio recorders just in case, you know, the videographers don't bring theirs or something happens to theirs. So in this pouch, I have the Tascam DR10L and the Sony ICD UX560 recorder. The Tascam will be a pocket mic and the Sony recorder will be mounted on the handheld microphone with a mic sleeve attached. And for the wedding, that should hopefully be enough backup audio sources. The other audio device that I brought with me is the DJI wireless mic. This is gonna be solely dedicated to content creation. I love that you can directly plug the receiver into the bottom of your phone without a wire attached. It wirelessly connects to the transmitter, which I usually attach to my shirt via the clip or magnets. And then I can pick up my audio as I'm talking while I'm vlogging my trip. I used to use the Rode wireless Mi mics, which I thought was pretty good, but you have to attach the receiver via a cable and it ends up kind of dangling off your phone unless you had a phone cage to clip the receiver onto it. But then using a phone cage with my phone kind of makes the whole thing much more bulkier. And I didn't really want to carry that around in my bag. But with the DJI mics, you only need to plug it in via the lightning or USB-C plug without any cables, which means I don't need a cage. It's a much neater, better, more compact solution for mobile content creation. And I can't recommend the DJI mics enough. So aside from charging cables and hubs, the last things that I packed are the Pelican Case SD card holder for all of my SD cards, the SanDisk SSDs because I will still have client work to do. So having SD SSDs handy will be very, very useful. And also a Seagate five terabyte external hard drive for file storage. And that's pretty much it. Let me know down in the comments if I overpacked, packed just enough or underpacked. I hope you liked this video. And if you did hit that like button and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Until the next one, my name is Alex Chung and I'll see you later. Bye.